Stanislaw here with another exciting tutorial all about M-Movie Lights. It's a great new plugin that's all about cinematic lighting for Final Cut Pro with instant atmospheric lighting effects, soft and tasteful light rays, using drag and drop effects with easy to use on-screen controls. Once installed, you can find them inside the effects browser of Final Cut Pro. After you've previewed your selection, choose one and drag it onto your clip. Inside are 60 different presets to choose from to create instant cinematic lighting effects for your project. Use your light center, vignette center, vignette edge shadow controls to shape your scene. Inside the inspector, you'll find that each template has the same published parameters. Near the top are the light controls. This lets you control the size, shape, intensity, and color of your light. Next are controls for our particles. They're small, but create organic looking particle effects. Next are bokeh controls, letting you dial in the perfect size and shape of your bokeh. Our vignette controls will let us specify just how light and dark our scene may be. If you can't find your on-screen control, make sure you zoom out your magnification. Below are mask controls. These allow you to manipulate the different ways that light can affect your scene. After adding one of the effects to my scene, I'd like to increase the interaction of this a little bit more. My camera's moving, but my light isn't. We can animate all of their different features using keyframes inside the inspector. Using this, I can create a natural looking movement to my different lights and the bokeh to make it seem as if it's part of this scene originally. By adjusting this light value, as the natural light is coming through, I can help accentuate that and help shape the refraction of that lens. Playing this back, now my light seems to work with the scene just a little bit better. Let's add this to a scene where the camera isn't moving. By default, I have a little movement in the scene. First, I'll move this into the position of where I feel it looks best. Then I'll change the refraction speed to a much smaller number. It's easy to use multiple effects in the same clip. Just drag and drop a new one and make your adjustments. Adding these different kinds of lighting effects and even multiple lighting effects can really create a lot of depth to my cinematic shots. Let's finish the scene by adding another light to my last clip. So in just a few clicks, we've taken our scene from this to this. What will you make with M-Movie Lights? My name is Stanislaw with Motion VFX. For more great templates and tutorials, be sure to check out motionvfx.com. See you next time.